Hi guys and welcome back to my channel today. I thought I would do a video on my no foundation makeup routine. I think it's perfect for the summer where you don't want anything too heavy on your skin uh, but it also is quite long lasting so if you've got any events to go to like a wedding or it's your birthday like mine is um, then uh, yeah I thought this would be something that I'd want to share. So the hero product for this routine is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. Now I can see those eyes widening but honestly this really does work. Uh, because it's a Glossier product it definitely is a little bit more sheerer and it definitely has that more emollient sort of sheeny finish to it than your traditional concealer but also because it's a concealer it lasts really really well so I found this method of using a small fluffier brush this one's by Real Techniques I believe it's one of their blush brushes uh, and using that to sheer out the product over the face works amazingly uh, it looks really natural but it also lasts really well so that's why I think it's really good sort of for those hot summer days um, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all which I know you might think with a concealer but honestly this has been my favorite base routine recently and I really do think that it works specifically for this season quite well I'm going to be using two NYX concealers. Initially, I'm starting with their HD concealer. Now, I've forgotten the shade name, but I'll write it down below. This one's particularly peachy, and that's why I'm using it. It has this definite peach undertone, which works really well underneath my eyes. Uh, and I just use my fingers to blend that one in. You can use whatever you usually use. But again, I like using the warmth of my fingers to blend this product in. I, I initially start it sort of in the corner of the eye, and then I do take it with my finger um, to put it where I want it, and then I pat it on in. And the second concealer that I'm laying on top is the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer, again by NYX. Now this is a lot more uh, lighter and it has a, de a definite yellow tone to it and this is to, again to brighten. So the first one was more to colour correct and sort of take away those dark circles a little bit and then I'm using the second one, uh, a light layer of that just to take over and brighten the under eyes. <laughs> Also for me, a big key is using setting sprays. I'm currently using the one by Beauty Pie. Uh, this is the first of many sprays that I'm going to be using, but uh, this is definitely what I rely on to set my makeup. Whilst I've all got creams on my face, I add my eyeshadow primer. I'm using one by Milani, which I really like. You can use your concealer, but I personally find this one works really well. So yeah, I just apply that with my hands. I'm then going to set that eyeshadow primer in place with a powder from a Jeffree Star palette but you can use any skin tone colour if you have your skin powder or, or whatever palette you're going to be using. I just set that all the way up to the brow, it's the same colour as my skin and a little bit underneath the eyes as well. And back to the face, I'm going to be using a cream contour product. Again, this is another Beauty Pie product. Uh, I find that contour is one of the first things to go. So I'm going to be uh, layering that up again for sort of a longevity in a more hotter climate. Um, so I just use the sort of doe foot. It's not a doe foot. The weird applicator that is on it. I uh, pop that underneath my cheekbones and then I use a sort of chisel tip brush to blend upwards and blend that product in. I'm then going to be using an ambient lighting powder by Hourglass. Now I usually do rely a lot on setting sprays for the setting part of things but I really do like the way that this sort of rounds the look off. If you haven't used one of these powders I know they're expensive but they're really hard to describe unless you've used them and I'm a big fan. And you guessed it, Here's some more setting spray. I, I love setting spray. Uh, my auntie once asked me if it ever worked and yes, I believe it absolutely does make a difference. I thought I'd zoom you guys on in to have a little look at my eyes and starting off with my brows. Now I did do a video not that long ago on how I do my brows, so I'm not gonna stay here too long. I'll link that one down below if you wanna watch that and have a little bit more of an in-depth view. But I do use a brow powder and then a brow gel to set that in place as well. Thank you. 
Speaking of eyes, I'm moving back to eyeshadow. Now again, because I did this tutorial with, a, with thinking of weddings and sort of that stuff in mind, but again, because I'm a little bit more hashtag alternative, um, I wanted to talk about this color. So this is just a brown color. It's from a Jeffree Star palette. Again, it's the same one that I was using before, but um, because it has the, just that little bit more warmth to it, it has a little bit more of an interest, a bit of a different color than just your standard neutral brown. And I find that adds just a little bit of extra sort of edge to my look. I'm a big fan of using the same highlighter on my eyes as well as on my cheekbones. This one's by Colourpop, it's Flexitarian. I absolutely love it for my skin tone. So I'm just using that to highlight both the inner corners and sort of move on to the lid as well. Um, and then I also chuck that onto my cheeks. Um, and I find that it ties everything nicely together. Again, kind of still in that neutral realm of things, but uh, adding a little bit more sparkle as well. Now I would do my eyeliner on camera, however I get about a centimetre away from the mirror so you just would kind of see my forehead, so I went and did that off of camera um, but yeah I'm applying mascara here obviously if you are going to a wedding or anything formal you could totally pop lashes on here that's something that would definitely take this to the next level but because I filmed this on a Tuesday afternoon I just stuck with mascara. And now I'm layering up some powder contour. This one is by Anastasia, or Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Uh, and I'm just layering up again that cream contour, uh, layering up on top of that cream contour uh, that we laid down earlier, just again to sort of uh, really solidify and keep that on my face. Now you could use that same technique for blush. I'm actually using a Colourpop one, one of their cream to powder ones, but I find this blush lasts all day. So I'm, I'm not layering it with a powder blush. I think this works just as it is, but you could definitely use that uh, technique with that as well. And then lastly for lips, I'm using my favourite lip liner by Milani. This is the colour Spice, I believe it's number 9 if I'm not mistaken. And I'm actually taking this all over my lips. You could definitely layer this with another lipstick, but I actually just quite like the colour on its own today. Um, and I feel like it worked quite nice and tonally with both my cheek and my eye colour. I just went for a neutral lip today, but of course you could add a red lip or work with whatever outfit that you're wearing for a big day or a big occasion. And there we have it folks, here's me posing awkwardly, not really knowing what to do uh, with a face full of makeup on. I hope that you found this helpful. Uh, if you've got any uh, weddings or, or fun things to go to, I hope you have a fabulous time and I hope your makeup lasts all night. Um, of course, uh, if you are going to a wedding, you should take your lip colour. If you put lashes on, I would take lash glue. Uh, again, if you're using the glossy concealer because that's quite small, if you wanted to top up, you could take that along with you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon. Bye.